Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this video, I'm gonna explain how to create a set result page using Elementor Pro. So if you have a website that you want to um, add this function for search that allows your user to find or search for a specific keyword, right? That display a content in there. It's simple as for instance, if they go here and they wanna say for search, we display this page search result that contains every content page post in relation with this keyword, right? So this is good for your audience that it helps them to find what they're looking for, right? So how are we gonna do that? First thing, we need to go through dashboard and WordPress, right? And then go to the section and say templates in Elementor Pro, theme builder. So here, what we do is going through theme builder and then going to search result. So here in search results, we're going to add new, right? Elementor Pro, it has this library. It contains a lot of um, templates, which is really useful and helpful already pre-built here that you can use for this specific search result. But for that one, we're just gonna use um, this one, for instance, simple. It's simple as click and insert. And automatically insert this template into your page. Okay, as you can see, I already displayed the search result for, and here it will contain the uh, keyword that they are searching for, right? Okay, um, this is the archive post that it will display. That's a template for now. But here it will display all the um, content post page that contains this keyword, right? I will probably add, let me see, here in elements, I will probably add the function search, right? Because maybe if they're already here, they will can search another one, right? Okay, so this function search form, it has different views. So if you go search function search form, skin. And here you can change the, the view, right? Make it minimal or full screen. Full screen is pretty cool. When you click here, it will take the full screen in order to search, right? So we're just going back, right? And then here we can just make it here on the right. Probably change this style. It's gonna make that different um, all color, okay? And then uh, here in the toggle, we're gonna change that to make it this white, okay? And then that way it will be this more branded, okay? So for the content that we display, it could be if you just click uh, and then you go to edit. Here the layout, you can also select what's the skin that you want, right? So classic cards, or full content, for that one it will be cards, fine, cards. And then make this as maybe three columns, right? You can go to style and change this if you want as you prefer for your branding. So let's go to car, then make that dark blue. Okay, and we can change the budget here, which is in image and then back, um, background color. We're just gonna make that as fully branding, right? If you have a different one, it's simple as pick a different one, right? And, and it will be easy, yeah? Okay, cool. So once you have this done, right, and here, what you probably need to do is make sure that there is responsive. So we're just going through this icon here, responsive mode, right? And then make sure that the different views, tablet, okay? And also mobile is looking good, okay, cool. So we just need to go back here to the desktop, right? And make sure that we're gonna publish this. So the thing is go here, publish, and then, and then, in, so what's the condition? What's, how are you gonna display this template? So we just need to add here, include, right? And then select the search result page, right? So you, you click save, right? Cool. So now it's already live. So we're just going back to the site, right? I'm just gonna go back to my blog and I wanna see how that looks. Okay, so now for instance here, now I wanna set for SEO. And that is my new search page result. And it's also including here the keyword, right? That includes all the content, all the pages, post 
in relation to the SEO, right? This is a good way to get your user easy to find what they want in your website, right? Okay, so here you got this, be good. Okay, cool. All right, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and like the video, please. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.